What's going on, friends? How y'all doing? My beard is completely gray. Hmm. That's besides the point. That's besides the point. Okay, back to the program. All right, guys. So I wanted to give you five tips on what I did when I was frustrated with my job. Now, of course, I've been praying for you. I've been lifting you up in prayer, and we are believing that God is going to help change the situation, bring peace in the midst of the storm. Yep, that's right. Peaks in the midst of the storm. But until then, let me give you five things that I did that I think that um, ultimately helped me to you know, gain uh, some sort of peace as I got to the next level and as God opened a door for me. So number one, number one, the first thing I did was personal development. Personal development is basically easing into your day. Like you never want to like get up and just the first thing you're doing is getting prepared to go to work. I mean, you're just you have to be to work at eight o'clock and you're getting up at seven thirty and you got a, a, a twenty minute drive. That's not enough time to ease into your day. So you want to ease into your day. You want to meditate, you want to pray, you want to spend some time with yourself. Uh 10, 15 minutes, you know, spend some time with yourself, drink that cup of coffee, watch a funny YouTube video, just get some time with yourself. So number one, you definitely want to ease into your day and you know do some personal development. Number two, you want to move. You want to do some movements, like you want to walk, you know, some exercise if you got time to do that. And listen, to have a time doesn't mean that you got to do 30 minutes at the gym. Like, I, I, I may walk me 10, 15 minutes just around the neighborhood. Uh, sometimes I'm going to walk in place with a video. Just just get moving. When you get moving and you're moving your body, you know, you, you, your energy is flowing and you're, you're kind of just shaking off of those negative vibes. You, you understand what I'm saying? You got to shake those negative vibes off. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, so get the moving. Number three, discover your why. This is important. All right, when you're on a job that you're frustrated with, right, you gotta you gotta think about why am I doing this, right? For some people, you're doing it because you gotta take care of the bills, or you maybe need need the money, or whatever your why is. A lot of times, your why can help you get back to the reality of what you're doing and why you're doing it, right? All right, so in, give me, let me give you a prime example. So let's say if you're on a job that you just completely hate, right? You just hate it, right? But you don't want to quit because you need the money. Bon. All right, well, look, you can go get money for anyway. You can find another job and get money, right? So don't stay on a job just because you may need the money. Uh, I would encourage you to look at your why, discover your why, because your why can kind of bring you to the perspective of what it is, it is that you need to know to stay locked in or to maybe move on to the next thing. It's simple. It's not that simple, but discover your why. All right, back to, back to the program. Number four, problem versus project. This is the technique that I learned. Sometimes we look at problems and the word problem itself is problematic, right? Because when I say, well, I got a problem, it just gives the connotation that eh, maybe this thing can't be fixed or something need to be fixed, right? I hate my job. My job is a problem, right? So what if we use the word project, right? I'm doing this project. Like I, I think of I think of like being in maybe in, in, in middle school when I was doing like a science project. It was something that I had to work on, but I knew that I had phases and stages that I had to deal with in order to complete the project. It just sounds a little bit different, doesn't it? Problem, project. Problem. <laughs> project. So guys, listen. Think about what you're doing as it's not a problem. It's just a project that I'm dealing with. I'm just dealing with a project. And I'm overcoming this. This too shall pass. And then your last one. Listen, always be thankful. You always got to have the spirit of gratitude. Listen, there are so many people that do not have a job, right? There are people that would kill and die to have your job or to be able to take care of their family or to be able to, to be scream at, at a boss if that's what's going on. And if that's what's going on, you need to get up out of there. But my point is you got to be thankful. So always be thankful. Be grateful for what you do have because sometimes the spirit of gratitude is able to just bring some sort of sanity in, in your mind and your thought process till you, till you get to the point where God's going to open the door for you. Listen, let me pray for you. I hope these, these tips help you. So number one, 
Experiences ease into your day, personal development. Number two, uh, get them moving. Uh, number three, discover your why. Number four, look at your, your situation as a project instead of problem. And number five, let's be thankful. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Now, Father God, we just thank you for my friends. And God, I just pray the peace over their life. I pray that you will continue to bless them and will give them the opportunity to think about the situation differently so that they will know that every assignment that they are on is a day by you. And that when you have completed what you need to complete in them in this particular situation, in this season, you will move them forward to the next day. And we love you. We praise you for this. This is in your son Jesus. And we pray. Amen. Listen. Thank you. And until the next time, I'm Samuel Spade.